Hi guys, good to have you all back. It is Monday. Let's get back into crafting mode. Now, last week I made this lovely sort of vintage um, junk mail envelope journal. And I asked you guys in a poll, do we want to continue in it or leave it as is? Well, 4% um, of you said leave it as is. So I am very sorry, 4%. Uh, because 96% uh, of you guys uh, told me, please finish it. So, that's what we're doing. I have lots of stuff on my desk. I have no clue what I'm using. These are just some items that I thought might work well. Um, what am I doing today? I am making ephemera pieces, doing some embellishments, all sorts in the journal. No clue. Let's just see what we can come up with. Shall we do the most logical thing? And that is to start with the cover. Because it's already lovely, but I could do something to it. I'd like to add something here. Yeah, I need, definitely need something here. I want sort of a tappy thing that you can... Making a tap. And this needs a lot. Now, I have decided not to ink. Which is very difficult for me. Because I love inking. Um, because I, I didn't ink anything. Uh, in the signature, so I'm going to leave it as is. I am, however, going to do a lot of stamping, embellishing, and what have you. Um, I'm going to start here, just here. Yeah, okay. Um, I think I also want sort of a tap thingy here. Now, I did die cut some stuff out, all in red. Uh, there's two colors red on here, actually. Well, this is more burgundy. Um, I got a new um, cardstock pack, these from uh, Studio Light. This is Magical Christmas, even though it's not Christmas yet. And uh, Snowy Forest. These are 250 grams. Why did I buy these? I really wanted to make um, hole reinforcers and tabs and, you know, die cut with them. Just some normal backgrounds that you can stamp on the side. So That's what I used, a uh, color red. Okay. Can we have this? Oh, we could also have this as a small pocket. And then as a tab, how would it look like on the other side? Oh, well, actually, sort of cool. Yeah. And then stamp something on it. Maybe do a quick collage. I do not want to cover up the Dorothy Dix. Dorothy Lick. Dorothea Dix. No clue who she is. You probably all know if you're from the USA. Okay, I'm going to have this here as sort of a tab. More decorative than what have you. But I want to do some stamping on it. No inking. Oh, this is so hard. Now, guys, I have a new stamp set. It's actually an old stamp set. Um, but I didn't have this one. It's from uh, Mr. Tim Holtz. It's etc. etc. Not eccentric, but etc. Has this big 15 on here <laughs> that I really like. But also this. And I think that'll look really, really cool. Oh, it's what it was already open, love. Um, will it fit? Oh yeah, and then a lot can go on here. Pretty much perfect. Well, I think so. Um, I am going to do black. Normally I would pick out... Is this big enough? It is. Um, fallen leaves. But the journal is just going to be black, red, blue. Really postal theme. Well, let's see not use this yet but you know it's mr tim holtz you cannot go wrong basically no. don't think you can okay so a lot is gonna be on here and i need want to leave a little bit of room there well actually a lot of room probably i want to put another number here Oh, yes. See? Lots on here. This is on here. Needs number. Does it need a number? Yes. There's no number on this one. Well, that's not really true. It says here. Number 68. Go away. Yes, number 68. 
Lot something something. Poster stamp. Let's get a poster stamp. Or let's put on one of these. I have this whole roll with priority sort of airmail from our Dutch postal service. Uh, I don't know how old this is. It's probably a little bit older. A little bit sort of vintage style. Yeah, I think so. But I have a whole roll, so I need to use them. So I'm just going to put one on here. Like so. Yeah. Have this over here. I'm going to glue it on. I'm not going to ink it. Are you not going to ink it? No. No. I'm not going to uh, put it on the perforated line. That will break. For sure. I know me. That will break. Uh, also going to make this into a pocket. So I'm not going to put glue all over. I'm going to put, put glue here and here. Very small narrow pocket, but I already know what I want to put inside. So let me first glue this down. Just needs to stick out a little bit. I really don't want to uh, cover up the, uh, this beautiful um, poster stamp. Is it done? It is done. Now I want to have something inside. But it needs some to be something very small. And I was thinking, I already used one of these before. Um, I want to use this one. Yeah, sort of a small tag. Now this is not a very light paper. I don't even know how many grams this is, does it say? Bum, bum, bum. One, oh, 170, that's actually not light at all. But I want to make it even sturdier. So I'm just going to cut it out roughly, like so. I'm keeping these because, oh, I love these, love these. I made these into sort of tabs a while ago. There's a lovely blue in here. Well, there are a couple of lovely blues in here. Um, this blue or, there was another blue, right? This blue. Is it the same? Probably is. <laughs> Probably is. No, that's different. I don't know. I'm just going to take out a blue. This blue. Yeah. I'm going to glue it, glue it on the other side. Just to make it a lot sturdier. Not inking. Not inking. Remember love. You're not inking. Also, be careful not to stab yourself with these large scissors. <laughs> okay. This is not very easy to see where you need to cut it. There's something here. And here. going to cut this straight but it actually has rounded corners and I'm hoping I can round the corners again probably can let's let's have a quick look let's have a quick look yes that worked and that worked now no inking I'm gonna have it in here like so really cute I'm going to put in an eyelet and then some of this. Just thought of it. You might hear some birds in the back, guys. I, the garden doors are open. It's really lovely weather outside today. It is windy, 21 degrees. Not raining yet. Might rain. I love that. Um, let's have something colorful on here. I think these are even too big. Are these too big? And do the red one. A red one. There you go. Will that work? Yes. Lovely. I have two magpies. I have them every year. Yep. And they, uh, well, they sort of live here. <laughs> They're my pets. They scare away all the other birds from the garden. They scare away 
other cats as well. Um, and you know, they eat all the bugs. So they can stay. We decided they can stay. Oh, I would have loved to have this the other side right, but that didn't work out. So, um, hello, pocket. Yes, pocket, please. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and then a small piece of this. It's just going to be cute. And hopefully, this will go through. If not, we have a device. Yes. Fantastic device. I got a happy mail a while ago. And loving it. Oh, I should have cut it a little bit longer, right? Yeah. I'm going to fiddle about with it. But the end result is fantastic. Ta-da! Lovely. Are we done? I might do another stamp here or or I also I stamped some stuff and then I fuzzy cut everything that could be nice just in black here oh and I have a sort of cute little label yes okay just gonna do it there I'm a little, little bit afraid this envelope is sort of glossy, shiny. Well, not really, but it has sort of a, a texture on it. Uh, when I stamp on this, I probably need to let it dry for a long time. Otherwise, it will smudge. So, no stamping directly on this envelope. Let's do it like this. Yeah. Okay. Finished. I'm going to open it up. Um, you you can, if, if it's closed up, you can see this bit. It's okay, but why not do something lovely to it? So I have this die cut. This is from Mr. Tim Holtz. It says special delivery. I'm thinking about having this here. That sort of fit, fits perfectly. Yeah. And uh, put one of these sort of on there lots of blue and red then i need more blue and red here but that's okay do we want to stamp something in the back no no dots 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 there you go special delivery This is something I actually never do. I um, stamp some, um, stamp some lovely images, and then I fussy cut all around them. Most of the time, I just stamp on the surface that I'm working with. But you know, you could do it like this easily, even. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, I really need something red. A thingy, a thing. I need a thingy there, or blue. I just had some stuff die cut out. This is too short to be a tab. I do want to have a tab on here, but I was thinking to do two of those, one here and one here. Yeah, do some lovely stamping on it, but I really want something red uh, to peek out. Oh, that'll work. And of course, put another blue something on. Yeah. So I'm gonna have those here. Stamp some lovely stuff on it. Decorate a little bit, put this here, and then another sort of blue ish I have more blue this oh yeah 
that looks cool. Yes, gonna stamp here, here, and also on the back. I think I'm gonna use this one again. I just want to try everything out. I take out the big one. Yes. Um, can we have it on like so? We can. We can. Can just do doing the black on this one. I do want August on here, so hopefully that will fit. I'm hoping I'm straight. Well, it's on there. Oh, it's cool. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah. I'm going to do on the other side. Um, is there a front and a back in this one? Sort of. Oh, this is the front from the other side. I think just maybe. Yeah. There we go. Again, I cannot really see because the paper is smaller than the stamp. Well, there goes nothing. And it's fantastic. It's so lovely. Ooh, love this one. Yeah. Uh, but it needs red or blue. Now, there are big sort of hole reinforcers on here that I don't really enjoy. They're very sort of bulky, way too big for this tag. I made a gazillion, and I mean a gazillion hole reinforcers. I've been... Let me show you guys. <laughs> That's what I've been doing uh, during the weekend. Uh, using my Elizabeth Craft Designs die cut to make all sorts of lovely uh, hole reinforcers with a beautiful paper. Just lovely paper. And it's also on the back. Um, and the problem is, do I have red in here? I don't know. I'm just going to do this. Right? Yeah. There is red, but it is on the reverse side. See? This, this is the good side. And then there's the reverse side. Do we mind? Mm. Don't think so. These. Let's see. I'm just going to do the normal round ones. All these lovely shapes. And then you'd use the normal round ones. And that's okay. That's quite all right. I'm already really into fall colors. Summer needs to start. And I'm sort of into mushrooms and fall colors. No, love, wrong side. Wrong. You did it wrong. I did it wrong. Is that going to work if I just sort of remove it? I'm going to let it dry. Wrong side. You need to put glue here. My brain automatically went to the right side, but we wanted the wrong side. Okay, I think it's going to work. Do we now also need an eyelet through or a brad or, or something? Don't think so. Don't think so. Uh, let's see. We want to make this into a tab thingy. It also needs it needs something else for sure. This was the front. This was the back. I'm going to glue them together like so. Yes, they will not peek. Oh, a little bit. Oh, that's lovely. They'll peek out a tiny bit. Is it enough of a tap then? No, it isn't. So it needs to be more. Over here. Yeah. And decorating. Well, first, I'm just going to glue it on. Oh, 
couple of months ago I uh, found um, a box of these pre-made tags on the internet. <laughs> so I have these pre-made tags in all sort of shapes. I, uh, I think it was seven sort of different sizes. Yeah. They're not really good quality though, but need to use them up. No inking, no inking. Maybe you missed the video where I made this um, journal. So I'm going to link that one below. Yeah, and then we needed this. We're going to cover up August. I was like, I need to have August on there. Yes. Okay, this is going to go on here. But I'm again putting a bit of the stamp on here. The round bit. Mm, yes. Uh, black. Well, right in front of your nose, love. There we go. Yeah. Did I tell you already I love this stamp? I really love this stamp. And then this is going to go here or, or like so. Let's just see. No, just the normal, the normal way. There's too much white on here. But now I cannot find my scissors, of course. I need to take out the smaller ones. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Number? No. 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 Don't think I am going to do a number. I might later, but not not at the moment. Okay. And then this is gonna go. Like so. Very daring to have a red on the pink. Yeah. Cool. Yes. Need something here? Need something here. I have picked out a couple of things that I might like. Beautiful poster stamp from Don't Know. But it's lovely. It's not red. It's not pink. It's just the in-between. So I'm thinking here. And then um, I have a blank label sticker. I can flip it over. I think it will work. Just have a... Yeah. That'll work. But then blue. Do we need blue? So I had this one. Maybe a bit of stamping in the background. Yeah. I'm going to st start with stamping in the background. Now guys. Because it's already sewn on. It sort of doesn't want to be flat. I'm thinking just to put something underneath. Like so. So it will be sort of flatter. Flatter. And this is ledger. This is actually ledger. So I love it. But um, it doesn't fit. I don't know really how it's going to work. But I'm going to try. I'm going to do it by hand. Just some, some bits here and there. So here's what I'm doing. Just putting some ink on. And then just doing this. Well, that sort of works. Well, not here, but that's okay. And then some here. And then some there. Yeah? Yeah, it's smudgy. But I don't mind it this time. Because it sort of looks real. Real-ish. Real-ish. First, let's do this one. I'm going to start here because I really want to see how this works. Because on the other side I have lots of room. Okay. 
There we go. Oh, well, that was lucky, a bit lucky there. And then this is going to go actually over the biggest smudge, so. This is a real poster stamp, guys. It's not like printable or anything. Yeah. Don't know about the blue, though. If we do the blue, we need another blue. So I'm guessing we're not going to do a blue. But we need another red, though. Reading matter. Yeah, or just on the bottom. Just by itself. All by its lonesome. Yeah. Great. Is that it? You, are we done? Are we done? Yeah. Well, for this piece, now there's a whole piece here. When I started the journal, I was thinking I want to have a sort of an identity card on here. It, it does leave for a lovely space. So let me think about it. Maybe identity card would be lovely to have it. Yeah, I think so. I think I found a candidate. I don't know what his name is. It might be James, Jamie or Jamal. S something with well, something like it. And I have a die cut um, sort of uh, slide. Yeah. I was thinking just to put him in here. Yeah. Looks great, right? So I'm going to have him here. And then I have, well, 500 of these forms. I really, I really do. <laughs> I really love love this part. So let's sort of incorporate it in here. Put some stamping and signature and and what have you. Yeah? Okay. And and of course some more decorating. Now I might want to add um, a big stamp here. Oh my gosh. Gert, be quiet. I'm sorry. I have two magpies. I named them Gert and Hermine. It's like John and Mary. And Gert and Amin actually were a singing duo from the 70s, 80s. <laughs> so I called them Gert and, Mandy, Her and Hermine um, because they're this loud all the time. All the time. Okay, I'm going to cut a piece off. I'm going to cut here and here. Put a large stamp here. Put this in here. Brats. Small ones. No, yes, brats. Yes, small brats. Yeah, and then... Beautiful stamp here. This is the size that I want the sort of identity card to be. So I already cut it out. I cut Jamie out. I don't know. I don't know what his name, guys. Cute guy, though. And let's just put glue here. Yeah. Put him in. There we go. Yeah. I want to have a big number underneath. We have a bit of a smaller stamping block. Well, not the smallest one, but there was a big number on the stamp set. I just, it, I didn't see it. And there we go. Yes. Lovely. Now close it up. Can we? Well, that's what they were made for. Maybe I should have done this before I stamped on it. Because now I'm afraid to smudge it. There's a... No, there's going to be brats through here. So don't worry about that, love. I need a bone folder. I really don't want to smudge the... The stamp, so... Trying to do it like so. Okie dokie. Glue everywhere. There you go. Just glue it down. Yes. 
and then it's going to need small brass. So I'm going to have him sort of on here. Like so, I might put this underneath and do some stamping, maybe something red as well. Mm. What do we have in red? Special delivery, but this is not a special delivery. It is handle with care though. Handle with care. Can we do this here? Yeah, we could. I think I'm going to have it here. Handle with care. We actually need three. A reading matter received. Not special delivery airmail. Uh, isn't this sort of a bit much? Actually, do not mind it. I don't mind it. No. Okay, I'm going to have these here. What else do we need? Some stamping and a signature because this says signature. I have a signature. It says signature and stamp. Both of those. I have both of those. Oh, I also have registered. I also have this. Or an arrow. Love these arrows. Yes, I'm going to do this. Number here, signature here, something there. Stamping. Yeah, and brats. I'm using Kathy Hall and sign here because I needed to sign here. I can do this. I'm first going to glue this down, this one down, and this down. Um, yep, there we go. Handle with care. Here we are. Stay. I really need to sort of see where I want everything. And then the arrow. Yep. This one. Come on. First time I'm making sort of an identity card without inking and grunging. Feels weird. Bit lower. I want the number 24 on there. Come on, art. Bit lower. Yeah. Okay. First signature. Stamping everything in black, guys. I'm not doing any red or blue stamping. There you go. Lovely signature. Then I have a little something down here. Yep. Don't even know what it is. Lot number. Lot number something. Um, the numbers I wanted to have here. Oh, that looks like it's supposed to be on there. Right here. Then another number in a totally different font. Um, this this is the right setup, love. Oh, where did I want it? Um, it's gonna go here. Yep. And I have something that says approved. Approved. And then this fella. Cool. I put in the small little brat that was, uh, well, fiddly because the legs were sticking out. One of the legs was sticking out. So I had to sort of bend it. Yeah, that took me a long time. Uh, what I also did, guys, I then put these sort of foam sticker thingies on it for two reasons. One, 
the brads, uh, the legs of the brads that are very sharp are now fully covered, so they won't sort of pierce through the the paper. And it's a little bit raised, and I think it, it's cute. I think it's cute. I'm just gonna put it on here. Uh, I also added this one and a little star and a little star. There you go. So I'm gonna have. Ooh, we need to have approved on here. I'm gonna have him on here. Yeah. Now this is bulky, but that's okay because it's on the cover. If it was going to be on the inside, that'll be sort of, you know, a whole different problem. My initial idea was to sort of stamp something here, but I'm going to do something underneath instead. I wanted to do something simple with this journal, but I've spent an hour on the on the cover alone. <laughs> so the mini series is going to be a, a little bit of a larger series. I cannot fix this journal, fill it in one video. So it's going to be a couple of videos, but you know, you probably are going to love it because I love it. It is great. It is great. Okay. Oh, I do really like it. Um, it's going to go on like so. So underneath, I was thinking, I have these from AliExpress from years ago. Yeah. Airmail sort of stickers. Because this is not an inky kind of grungy project, I'm using these. Because these are a little bit newer, but I think they go very well. So I'm just going to put this here. Yeah, the sticker. I'm also... Probably going to put another stamp on there. First a sticker via airmail. Yes, that looks lovely. And can we do and shall we do another arrow? This is the reading matter or, or correspondence. No, because that looks a little bit the same as this one. Thinking the arrow. What color? Blue? That's the blue. I need to have a flat surface, so I'm just flipping this open. Will that work? Well, it will be tricky, but you know, I'm a professional, so it's going to work. It's going to work. <laughs> Let's see. Blue. Uh, Bluebell from are fine. Okay. Does it need time to dry? I don't think so. I don't even think so. Okay, and we're back. And we're back. Yes. Oh, yeah. Great. Am I going to use art for this? I think so. I think you can use art. Now these forms, guys, I played with these um, last week or maybe the week before. These are shipping forms that I bought a box of. Now, before I bought the big box, I bought a couple of them from my friend Leonie at Young Journal Paper Sale on um, Instagram. But they're different. I just found out they're different. Because I was complaining about they're so thin and, you know, really different. These are the ones I bought at Leonie, have a number on them. And these are very, very thin, almost like tissue paper. Now the ones that I have do not have the number on them. And these are re really much thicker, sturdier. And also no writing on the back. So yeah, they're different. I don't know which one I prefer. Well, if you're going to do mixed media, uh, well, the one that I have, because... These thinner ones, they did not want to hold the gesso well. Nothing will hold gesso. Oh, so, so lovely, right? I'm thinking, do we need something here? I think so, but I don't know what yet. I'm going to have a quick think about it. Wow. 
Are we in love? Well, I like it a lot. Actually, I can tell you, this is the tape, the Tim Holtz sort of fabric tape. Um, and I had to re-glue this three times with art glitter glue. Yeah, so it really doesn't want to hold any glue. We love it. We love it. Put this over. I like did like so. Oh, yeah. Yes. Lots of red and blues, but we love it. Okay, guys, I'm going to do add one more thing here. I don't know what yet. I might do this big black stamp. Or the 15. Both. Going to do this one. Yeah. Let's see. Where's my stamp block? Again, I have to. Need to do something here. Yeah, well, not today. <laughs> I don't have any more time. Black? Black. Acceler accelerators. Okay. Genuine what man? Oh yeah, cool. Yeah. Need to let it dry. And then then let's look at the end result. I couldn't help myself, guys. I added a few more bits and bobs. Um, I added this. Now this is actually a Tim Holtz uh, die cut. And this is the die cut. Yeah. This is the negative. And then I took my one inch circle punch and just punched it. I might like this even better. See, it's a negative. It's really cool. Love it. So I put also put this here. Yeah. On the inside, on the on the outside, and then on the inside. Um I added um two more stamps. Because I really wanted to use everything on this on this stamp set, the eccentric one. It's a lovely one. Uh, I thought I would be crazy about the 15. Yes, it's number 15. Um, I like I like this one the best. <laughs> because very versatile. You can uh, stamp uh, different parts of it. And it will look different every time. Okay, when we open it up like so. I put the 15 here. I just wanted to have 15 cents on there. Because this says 7.5. 2 times 7.5. 15 cents. And then this one that says enclosure. Yeah, just in black. Really, really bold. We did this. We did this. Gonna flip this open like so, and then James, Jamie, Jamal is here. Let's call him Jay. Jay, it's really cool. I really like. I could have made this into a pocket. I just now realized. But honestly, guys, don't need any more pockets. Really, don't need any more pockets. Do you like it? I love it. It's really, really cool. Yeah. So uh, that is page one <laughs> of this journal. I will continue in it, guys, for sure, for sure. Let me know if you're bored of, uh, with it. <laughs> Just let me know, then I'll finish it myself. But I think it's a lovely project. Great. Guys, thank you for hanging out with me today. I really enjoyed it. I had no clue. I just knew I wanted to do sort of a, a postal theme again. Yes, it's enveloped. Um, but I, I'm in love with the end result. It's really, really cool. Okay, I'll be back again tomorrow. Tomorrow, guys. I am doing my entry for the How Boho Can You Go uh, collaboration with Rachel and Bella. I'm still having a lot of problems with what am I making. Uh, so it's going to be an experiment slash adventure. So I'm hoping I need your support. I need your support. So I'm hoping to see you tomorrow. Until then. Bye, guys.